Hello, my name is Dr. Benjamin Thomas. And I'm Dr. Paul Farker-Smith. We're practicing clinicians in the United Kingdom and a major element of our work is in the field of pain management. We've recently completed a study of a new medication available to treat post-shingles pain. This is entitled gabapentin in a carbyl for the treatment of post-hepatic neuralgia in adults. We've been interested for a while in technological advances in pharmacotherapy that are helping to reshape the way we use medicines and prescribe medicines. We've undertaken a review of the current available literature uh, relating to gabapentin enocarbil. This was licensed for use by the Food and Drug Administration in the USA in 2012 for the treatment of both post-hepatic neuralgia and restless leg syndrome. We review it here uh, with special relevance to post hepatic neuralgia, but also we're looking at other literature as well. post hepatic neuralgia affects 10 to 20% of those who suffer the acute shingles episode. And there are several effective treatments for this, including gabapentin. One of the issues with gabapentin is that its bioavailability is variable and decreases as the dose increases. This is one of the reasons that the frequency of dosing is three or four times daily. And the rationale behind the Enocarbil version was to make bioavailability more consistent across dose ranging. And additionally, its preparation as a slow release affects reduced dosing frequency. So this prodrug uh, has a different mechanism of absorption and it actually is converted throughout the gut, therefore expanding the absorptive area and therefore making the absorption more consistent. Phase 1 studies have shown that this absorption has been more consistent compared to the immediate release preparation, although the resulting half-life is very similar, at about 6 hours. Yeah. In clinical trials, the Piconia group found gabapentin and carbol reduced weekly pain scores by just over 2 points on a Likert scale, compared to just over 1 for placebo. Other secondary measures, such as sleep, were also improved. They also reported a 31% lower daily dose, which correlated to increased steady-state plasma levels of gabapentin compared to the immediate release version. A second large RCT by Zhang's group looked at doses from 1,200 milligrams per day to 3,600 milligrams per day using a twice-daily dose administration. They reported a significant improvement in the mean 24-hour numerical rating pain scores compared to placebo. And this was regarded to be sufficient for FDA licensing. There was no difference in efficacy between the dosing groups, but the higher dosing groups had more side effects and a higher dropout rate. So given that gabapentin and carbol is therefore the pro-drug of gabapentin, it's not an unsurprising finding that the side effect profiles are similar, with somnolence and dizzy, dizziness the most frequently reported symptoms. Those effects were increased in the higher range of dosing at 1800 and 2400 milligrams per day. Although there's no published data specifically for the elderly, a group of interest as the incidence of post hepatic neuralgia increases with age, many of the patients in the two published RCTs were in a comparable age group. Uh, therapeutically, gabapentin is already in immediate form uh, mentioned in many national and international guidelines for the treatment of neuropathic pain and specifically for post hepatic neuralgia. Some of the guidelines do mention extended release preparations, but this is the minority. Future guidelines will have to take on board these extended release gabapentin preparations, but at the moment, the lack of comparative data between the extended release and the immediate release means it's difficult to favour one drug over another. Um, and the, the enocarbal preparation is a prodrug. So future studies will hopefully allow practitioners to accurately place this drug into the pharmacopoeia for treatment of post hepatic neuralgia in adults. And data may confirm that gabapentin enocarbal will allow a decreased frequency of dosing but with similar efficacy to the immediate release version.